What's up guys, it's Hedge. In my last video I did a comparison of uh, quality between my presets and two of the most popular ones on YouTube. It was found rather evidently that my presets gave significantly better quality in a number of instances. It was also found that the preset of the other two with the higher bitrate looked better than the one with the lower bitrate. Um, now what if we were to apply a higher bitrate to my settings? Would they look better uh, considering that YouTube is asking for 12 Mbps? Well, I rendered one video in 12 Mbps, one in 24 Mbps, and one more per um, per commenter request I rendered at uh, with a third pass um, compression. So what that means is I did automated third pass encoding mode here rather than ABR, which was the standard. So let's take a look at the comparison. Now, firstly, I've been getting some messages that there's no difference if you compare, you know, in quality, but there is. Um, so you can compare. Uh, two videos and there's a whole bunch of different stuff but if we put the threshold down <clears throat> if we put the threshold down you'll see that the quality difference is kind of localized to a few uh, very small hot spots so let's take a look at those hot spots and come to some conclusions so here you've got in the video you've got a 12 mbps 24 mbps and one with third pass um, so let's take a look at the 12 um, you'll see that there's a bunch of artifacts down here a bunch of squares well and 24 Mbps, all these squares are a bit more smoothed out. So uh, I can kind of conclusively say that in this instance, in, in this hotspot, the tw 24 Mbps looks better than the 12. Um, so let's compare third pass versus ABR. So this is ABR right here, and this is with third pass. And with third pass, you'll see that it's a bit more difficult to differentiate between the sparks, the lines, the sparks coming off of this, um, you know, of this explosion are a bit more uh, prominent right here with 12 Mbps ABR than with third pass. Okay, let's take a look at another um, another photo. So in this one, I couldn't really tell the difference. They look different, of course, but I couldn't really, it's just really hard to put, uh, you know, in this instance, I really just couldn't tell. Um, So in this instance, it doesn't really matter. I guess if you're doing a third person game, won't make too much of a difference. Um, now let's take a look at this. So this is a bit more visible. So we've got 1224, so let's compare. On 12 Mbps, you'll see that there is no black border around this line. Whereas on 24 Mbps, the black border is a bit more visible. That's a tiny thing. It's not that big of a difference in quality. Now let's compare the 12 to the uh, the ABR to the third pass. You'll see on third pass there's two artifacts down here as well as a color bleed down below the crosshair. And this doesn't happen in uh, 12 and this doesn't happen in 24. Uh, so again, third pass doesn't look as good as ABR. So um, and 24 Mbps looks slightly better than 12 Mbps. Let's take a look at another image, which is. Um, this one should do it okay. So there's a bunch of stuff going on here. This is 24 right now. And here it is on 12. So on 24, you can kind of see a bit more detail. There's some stuff going on here. On 12, it's, it's kind of blurred out and, and, you know, all mixed together here. Whereas on 24, you can kind of see a bit more detail. Is that really noticeable? Well, you have to take a look at the video and it will be kind of hard to see. But there is a difference, it's small. Um, and let's compare the 12, uh, the, the ABR to the, th to the third pass. So this isn't quality, this is more pixelation it seems. Um, very little pixels that are not smoothed out as much. I prefer the ABR in this situation as well. And um, couldn't see much of a difference. Oh, yeah, I could actually see a difference here. So here's the difference here. Take a look at this cuff. You see there's a faint gray line that you can barely see with a 12 Mbps. But on 24 Mbps, it's a bit more pronounced. You can kind of see the end of the cuff like, or the end of the cuff here. So again, um, slightly better quality, but not really noticeable when you're taking the whole picture into account. Now let's compare that with a third pass again.
not much difference here. So, conclusion, third pass doesn't look as good as ABR, and the higher bitrate you set, the higher quality you will get. But it's very marginal, so doubling the quality will only get you a visible cufflink, slightly more visible cufflink. Um, up in the quality will only get you slightly less artifacts. Is it worth it? Well, that depends on your connection. It depends how long uh, it takes you to render and it depends on how long it takes to upload. Now for me, 24 Mbps is okay. You decide on your own whether, uh, whether that's enough or not. So that's about it. Take care until next time. Uh, this was Hedge Direct.